Hello and welcome back to Table Time Lifestyle. And like I said, I have Colin here. And so let's do a wedding update. Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I've never felt like this. What are you doing to me? So we've done uh, two bridal showers. Uh, my family hosted one and Colin's family hosted one. Uh, we do have his dad's side that is coming up to visit us this weekend um, just because they weren't able to come to the actual bridal shower. Um, what was your favorite gift out of all of the gifts that we got? Well, personally, I would say from your British or personally, I would say Madden 21, <laughs> but that's being more uh, self-centered. Um, I don't know. I would say that I I like the blankets that we got. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite gift? I, I guess I had a couple favorites. Um, from my first bridal shower, I really like, um... Oh yeah, from your, yeah, I was talking the most recent one, from your first bridal shower, oh. I would say my favorite gift would have been um, the games that we got. Oh, from Ch Man the Mancala and stuff yeah. from Chantel. Um, so Chantel, if you're watching this from <laughs> northern Minnesota, <laughs> Colin learned how to play Mancala recently. <laughs> um, well, from that shower, I think it'd be probably the Mr. and Mrs. stuff. It came from a few different people. Um, we have little, uh, we have uh, tumblers that say like Mr. Nelson's, Mr. Nelson and Mrs. Nelson. Um, we have those other t can koozie tumblers that, uh, or can koozies that we're gonna label um yeah i guess that gift they're really <laughs> it's a really cool gift you know with everything mr and mrs like i will always be mr nelson but until but i get to change my yeah, name until october 2nd it's <laughs> not quite mrs nelson unless we're talking <laughs> about the other millions of mrs nelsons around the world but there are some uh, there's some very useful gifts too. Mm. Like we've uh, we got a cast iron pan that we've used almost every week since we got got it. Haven't put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> not putting that thing in there. Um, but also from that second shower, I think you know spiritually wise, I really like having that family Bible. Um, so the wedding Bible. And it's from Grandma Anne Marie. Yeah, from Grandma Anne Marie, and it's personalized. Uh, but I also really like the the engagement book from Grandma Karen. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Because so she made all you know. We'll record a video of it just to, so you can see it. Um, but she made this scrapbook um, that's got all of our engagement photos uh, from the session my sister took the session when we just went out with my camera and used timer at shells and then also when rain took our pictures uh professionally so our wedding photographer um so to have all of those photos in a, in a book and you flip through it and it's just fun to look through we have it on the coffee table right now um and it'll probably you know it'll probably stay in that area so that you, you know when you're just sitting around you can pick it up and flip through it i flipped through it a couple times already um while cuddled up in a nice blanket um, so those, I guess, are some of my favorites. There's definitely, there's so, there's been so many useful gifts, um, and helpful gifts, and of course, like, Madden, and being able to, to, you know, sit down and play games. It's been pretty cool. Um, what are you looking forward to, um, in these next preparations for our wedding? Um... 
terms of next preparation, like obviously I had my bachelor party. I don't know if you want to touch on that in the video. Oh, yeah, but, we can. You know, uh, so if we can just do that now, I guess. Yeah. I had a, my bachelor party <coughs> was going up to the Twins game a couple Saturdays ago and sitting in a club suite area with all my groomsmen and my dads and then her dad and ushers and hosts and it's really a fun time beautiful beautiful weather um twins won 12 to nothing so it definitely helps mm -hmm. when you're on the right side of the of the game you're not cheering for the team who's behind at the end but it was really fun and then i know that uh, if you want to talk about your upcoming bachelorette party on yeah. the 18th uh so yeah my bachelorette party is coming up um me and my bridesmaids are just gonna go and have fun at a resort. So we're just gonna, we're going to a water park. It may sound childish, but you know, it's- Gonna have a lot of quick fun. I mean, it's one day. Oh yeah. We're gonna leave- uh, All the water slides you can. Yeah. Well, and trampoline park and arcade, all together. Uh, we're gonna leave Saturday morning. We're gonna go out to Wisconsin um, and we're gonna spend the day there, spend the night there, and I'm super excited. We're going out to dinner. I don't think you heard about this, um, but we're going to go out to dinner and we are going to, we're bringing outfits, our dresses that uh, we don't have any other uh, time to use it. And so it's just an idea of being able to get all dressed up, wearing something that you normally don't have an occasion for and just making an occasion for it. Um, which I think is part of this whole, this journey too, is, you know, when you're decluttering and getting rid of things, it's like, oh, have I worn this in the past 12 months? And even if you wanted to wear it, you might not have had the occasion to wear it. And so it is really exciting to um, have this plan in place that we've set a, you know, we've set that dinner is wear what we, you know, wear an outfit that you don't have another occasion to wear. Um, in terms of upcoming preparations, so right now, at the timing of this video, um, we're right at the end of August here, um, so we've got about five weeks. 38 days. 38 days, so, you know, five and a half weeks, I suppose, if you really want to be precise. But in terms of what I'm looking forward to, I would say it would be um, just making sure all of our um, finer details are in place, making sure that people turn in the RSVP. So if you haven't done so yet, this is my shameless plug. Please, if you're watching this video and you want to come to our wedding, please RSVP with who will be coming and for meals. And if you don't want to come to our wedding, which too bad for you, still turn in your card because we <laughs> we want to see who's uh, not going to be able to make it and, which is just fine as well but um, just seeing all those RSVP cards and and even we've received a number of yeses and a number of noes and in those yeses we're so so grateful and so so excited to spend the day with all of you because um, really the day might be about us but it's really I mean it wouldn't be possible without our parents or grandparents my groomsmen your bridesmaids um, so it's really about all you guys too and we really hope that you um, come come for the party whether that's the ceremony or the reception or even better both um, so just just in terms of preparation just that excitement building for this day that'll that'll be here in in no time yeah and I think for me one of the things that I'm looking forward to besides all of the busyness of preparing and next Wednesday having another dress fitting um, I don't have to worry about a dress <laughs> fitting do I no no <laughs> well maybe your tux but no. um, dress fitting and just being able to try it on again where it's already you know it's been hemmed it's been taken in and bustled where it needs to be and so I'm kind of excited to try that on um, but really I'm actually looking forward to um, this new book I got 
I picked up for us. And so we're... Oh, really? Do I know anything about this book? Yeah. Oh. The, so, so we, um, we picked up uh, the Consecration to St. Joseph oh, yeah. from Father Donald Call, uh, Calloway. We have a lot of books, so I was just wondering. We do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so this is a 33-day journey um, for the Consecration to St. Joseph, who has kind of been our patron saint... Um, that we've turned to uh, throughout our relationship. And so in, you know, four days, we'll hit the 33-day mark to our wedding, and that will be when we start this journey, um, working through this book and prayer and um, really just diving into the life of St. Joseph and how we can live um, as this spiritual father of Christ lived. Um, I find it fitting that four days from now will be Sunday, which is, you know, commonly known as <laughs> the Lord's Day, Day of Rest, and we're starting this 33-day journey with St. Joseph, and I find, it, I find it really convenient, coincidental, you name the term, that it's not Monday through Friday, work week busyness that we're starting this, and we're not starting it on Saturday with my dad's family coming up. We're starting this on the Lord's Day Day of Rest where we really have the opportunity to reflect on that throughout the entire day. Yeah, and another part with it is how is, we've done, what, two, three book studies through our relationship three. now? Um, and we've been doing, you know, we, we're doing St. Joseph Challenge and things like that, and so just this spiritual reading has been very important in our journey together um, and I suppose one of my favorite books became kind of one of your favorites with Walking with Mary and yeah. hopefully this consecration uh, to St. Joseph and the readings that we'll read along the way um, also will provide that spir spiritual nourishment um, for our relationship. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. And I, well, I think one of the things that I worry about um, sure. is kind of just the amount of things that I feel like we have, or projects like that I feel like we have to do still. Um, and I don't, I wouldn't say that there's a whole lot of them, but it's like, we started, <laughs> I started. You think that there's a lot to do all the time. <laughs> okay, but I started projects with your sister. Yeah. And that was a while back. We got one out of eleven done, and we figured out how tedious it was. And so we're like, we've started the other ones, mm. but they're not done, and we know that they're tedious projects. And so, you know, like just doing that, and then you know, having that, and then just trying to maintain a house, you know, maintain a house doing dishes, laundry, cleaning, um, working, um, trying to find extra time to do other jobs, you know, kind of just makes it really tough and the feeling like there's not enough time. Um, but being able to also remember that we have to take time. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear us because we took time today and we actually, we went out to the park um, so that we could have some time away uh, instead of just like being around the apartment, you know, being around the apartment or going to visit other people or hanging out with other people, but just to take this time um, to sit out here in the park with the water running and the bugs making noise. Um, and so it's been kind of really nice to be out here because it has been a break from always feeling like we're go 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 and so I do worry about feeling like we're go 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 and also being just worn out I would say um, that would be one of my worries too but in, in this taking in you know what's in front of us here God's God's creation you want to talk about a wedding update like our wedding wouldn't be possible with without God and and all that he's created around us whether that be people or nature wildlife i mean our dinner our dinner got cut short by a bunch of 
bees. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we we need bees for the for honey, and I enjoy honey, particularly on biscuits. So if you're not a uh, biscuit and honey person, don't add me and when you comment on this video. But uh, yeah, just feeling like we're always go go go, and just being able to take take time and literally take in God's creation and go <sighs> and there it is I mean a breath of fresh air literally and figuratively is I have another bee by my walker here that <laughs> kind of makes me apprehensive but and then how about what's something that you're looking forward to in marriage in our you know wedding I think for me one of the things I really look forward to um, in the actual wedding celebration is um, that reminder that we are we're entering not only just a so it's not a civil union it's a sacrament of the church um, and how amazing it is to uh, know that we're going to be spending time with our family and our friends who are there to witness that um, sacrament but also just as we, as we went through our marriage prep, um, it was always amazing when we were talking and learning about, you know, more about what the sacrament means and where it relates to, um, how it relates back to the Bible and how, how our lives will still replicate those stories mm -hmm. and those um, teachings in the Bible and so you know that idea of in Genesis being from man um, and that it's also that reminder like that God created us to be together right. um, it you know one of the those amazing pictures of in like the Sistine Chapel is um, Adam and God and we're like they're not exactly sure if the fingers are touching or not um, but like when you look right behind God um, over his shoulder you see the image of the woman right and you know that reminder that those fingers they must be touching because you know the idea that God's it's God that put his finger into our life to put us together um, but also, as we reflect on our readings and pick out our readings, um, which we could do that, and we could do another update when we can actually have the readings in front of us and people can hear. Um, but like as we picked out these readings, you know that reminder too that we're called to love as Christ loves mm -hmm. um, and to serve as Christ serves, and so. It's been really great to have this, you know, this preparation time to think about how that's really going to impact our future and how we set goals um, in our life and what we want to do that that fit what that calling is. Right. How about you? Well, in terms of what I'm looking forward to mm. in the marriage, well, I mean. Obviously the reception so I can break on my dance moves. Um, but kind of going off of what Amanda says, I'm just looking forward to uh, the ceremony in general and um, knowing that Christ will be with us. Um, not only during that ceremony, but each and every moment um, after the ceremony like he is with us right now. Um, you know, in the vows, sickness and in health, you know, richer for poor, you know, that I will love you, Amanda, regardless, and, and through that, it's, it's Christ-centered, and I think that's a good example, I mean, I hate to put it this way, but, you know, we've, we've endured a lot of hardships, particularly one that's still going on right now, and that's the invisible beast of COVID-19 and how we've kind of already started that sickness and in health richer for poor you know um, but in terms of the ceremony just knowing 
that Christ is there with us and for us and believes in us because as we know love endures all things it believes all things and I forget the other half of the, of the <laughs> line of the reading but we'll do another update when we have that those readings in front of us so I can give you the full line but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it for sure so before my hand completely falls asleep because we as I said we are outside and so I am holding my phone uh, to do this um, why don't you do you want to close this in a short prayer and sure is, it, is your hand tingling how short do we need it to be do we need it to be the Heidi first special of glory be no we can okay. you can do a little more okay all right maybe the sign of the cross with it too in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit amen, amen. dear Lord we thank you for um, the time that we've had together both us two and our millions watching around the world in this <laughs> YouTube video um, we thank you for allowing us to be um, within your beautiful beautiful realm of creation and all that's around us from pesky bees to beautiful flowers to a nice bench to support us and um, as we go on into this marriage um, help us to always find that bench within ourselves and with each other to support us through all difficult situations and we ask that you keep all of those who will be attending our wedding and who will not um, keep them safe happy and healthy because we can't couldn't do this without them and we look forward to celebrating with them in one way shape or form on October 2nd and going forward we ask these prayers and all that we um, entrust verbally, silently, out loud to Mother Mary and through the intercession of St. Joseph as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So thank you again for joining us. And hopefully we'll have a new update for you soon. See, I really was holding that phone. <laughs> um, and so... I need a support for that phone. <laughs> I have one. I know you do. Um, we need another one. Put it on the red but we will, <laughs> But we will give you another update with our reading soon. And until then, know that you are in our prayers Absolutely. and that we love you. Bye, everyone. Bye.